In this lesson, we will learn more about query loops and using the query loop block. Let's first talk about the query loop block. This powerful block can be used to display posts based on specified parameters. This is also the block that is used on your blog page to display all your posts and will allow you to ask the database to show you all the posts about a specific topic. For example, you can ask to see all the posts written about gluten-free recipes. Or you might want to see posts about reviews of computer games. Each query loop block is made up of various blocks like the post featured block, the categories block, the post title block, the post author block, the post excerpt block, etc. While you won't be able to edit the content of these nested blocks, you can customize the appearance and layout, including adding or removing additional blocks as you'd like. Let's look at a few example websites to see how they have used query loops. In our first example, a query loop has been used to highlight the latest stories recognizing women's creativity, leadership, courage, and innovation. And below that, a query loop has been used to display blog posts. In the second example, query loops have been used to display different types of recipes. First up, we have breakfast recipes, and if we scroll down, amazing appetizers. And in our last example, a query loop has been used to create a news page. Let's first look at how to modify a query loop block and to use patterns. So let's make our way to appearance and click on editor. This will take us to our site editor and currently we are on our blog home template that displays all our blog posts. Let's open the list view to see how our query loop block is structured. At the top, we will see the featured image block. Then we have the post title block, followed by the post meta blocks. And they include the post date block, the post author block, as well as the categories block. And then lastly, the post excerpt block. But of course, we can alter what we want to have displayed. So let's, for example, delete the post excerpt block and then select the post title block and drag and drop it to above the featured image block. And the great thing about updating the query loop block is that if you change something in one post, it will appear everywhere else. But what if we want to use a completely different pattern and layout? Well, we can click on replace in our block toolbar and browse through the various patterns that come with your theme. And when you select a pattern, you can of course customize it as you please. When you add a new query loop block, you will have two options. You can choose a pattern or you can start blank. When you click on start blank, then you can select one of the variations. In this case, I will select title, date and excerpt. And then we can modify it further. So let's go ahead and add a featured image block below the title. And then we can open up styles and change the aspect ratio to, for example, 4 by 3 to ensure that all the post featured images display the same. Next up, we are going to have a look at taxonomies or filters and how to use the sidebar settings. I've created a lifestyle page and only want to see posts related to this topic. So I will select the query loop block and then open up my sidebar settings. And the first thing we have to do is deselect inherit query from template as I want to customize the settings of the query loop. And when you scroll down, you now have an option to filter your posts by using taxonomies 
such as categories and tags, authors, and even keywords. I'm going to select taxonomies as I've created a category called lifestyle and only want to see posts with this category displayed. And when I add the lifestyle category, all posts that don't have this category will be excluded. You also have the option to display posts from a specific author. So once I select the query loop block again, I will go to my sidebar settings, click on filters, select authors, and select the person whose posts I would like to display. Now we will only see posts written by Roger Lister. You can of course also choose a keyword and only display posts which contain that word or words in the text. Lastly, let's have a closer look at our sidebar settings. As mentioned, I've deselected inherit query from the template to customize the query. If you toggle it on, certain customization options will be hidden. And if you toggle it off, more customization options will appear. When you add a new query loop block to a post or template, it is also important to turn this off as your query loop block might not appear on the front end. The next option is post type. At the moment, we are displaying blog posts, but you can also display pages or even custom post types. Below that, you have the option to order your posts from newest to oldest, oldest to newest, or alphabetically. Next, let's talk about sticky posts. A sticky post is a post that sticks to the top of your blog page, and the option in your sidebar settings will allow you to include sticky posts, exclude them, or only show sticky posts. Below sticky posts, we will see the option to turn off force page reload. And this will allow someone to browse through posts without a page reloading. And this could contribute to a better user experience. And finally, we have already discussed using filters. All the best as you take advantage of this powerful block to display posts.